Okay, uh, today we're looking at division of polynomials and there's two methods for the division of polynomials. There's one that's called long division. Alright, so sometimes we're going to use long division. And then there's another one that's not proper division, but we can use it to help us divide. And that's called synthetic division. Now, long division always works. Synthetic division only for <coughs> particular cases. All right, so we need to pay attention here. So, Jared, get off Clash of Clans. You'll never be as good as me anyway, so you might as well spend your time doing maths. So, so a long division one. So, let, let's say, for example, it goes back to hopefully what you did in primary school. 1,324, and if I want to divide that by, uh, say, 12, for example. So the way we would have done that is we've gone 1, 3, 2, 4, and uh, 12. Now, then we work through, and we go, oh, 12 into 1 doesn't go. So we put the the one with the three. So then we'll go, okay, so 12 into 13 goes once. It's a bit of a wide one. Let's get rid of that and just put a proper one. All right, then what we do is we go, all right, one times 12 is 12. And then what we would do is we would take that away. And 12, 13 minus 12, of course, is one. So then we bring down this 2 that's there, we bring that down there, that's 12, so 12 goes into 12 once, and then we would go 1 times 12, is 12, take that away, and we get 0, so then we bring the 4 down, and when we go 12 into 4 it doesn't go, so what does that mean, that means then that 1,324 divided by 12 is equal to, um, it doesn't go, so I should have put the zero up there because it doesn't go, um, <clears throat> 110 and remainder 4. Now we could also write that as the remainder as 4 over because that's what we're dividing into. All right, so um, these numbers have got a, some names. Um, that one there is called the quotient. The number up the top there. The one down here is the dividend. The uh, <clears throat> 4 down the bottom there is the remainder. And the number 12 over there, it's called the divisor. All right, so we're going to use this process to do uh, division with polynomials. So let's have a look at an example. So here we've got an example and I want to do x squared plus 7x plus 11 and I want to divide that by x take 2. <clears throat> so we set up in a similar way. Underneath we go x squared plus 7x plus 11 and we're dividing by x minus 2. Now, here before, like before in the previous one, we just had kind of the number 12, and it was a little bit easier, but because here we've got x minus 2, it's a little bit more tricky. So what we do is, first of all, is we isolate the x, and we say, okay, let's look at the x. So we've got to get x squared. So 
to get x squared, we would have to multiply this x here by another x. So x goes into x squared x times. So then what we've got to do is we've got to take that x and multiply it by all of that. So x times x is x squared. x times minus 2 is minus 2x. And now we have to subtract all of that. So x squared minus x squared, nothing. Minus 7x, minus and a minus is a plus. So 7x, not plus, minus 7x, plus 7x. Let's go again, minus and a minus is a plus. So that's plus 2x, 7x plus 2x is 9x. <clears throat> now we bring that 11 down next to it. All right, so to get 9x, again, it's this x here that's interesting. So what do we get to get 9x? We've got to multiply that x by 9. So now we take this 9 and we multiply it by the x minus 2. So 9 times x is 9x. 9 times negative 2 is negative uh, 18. And then we need to subtract all of that. So 9x minus 9x is no x's. Negative and a negative is a positive. So 11 plus 18 is 29. All right, so this division here leaves us with a uh, remainder. All right, now some, some things are uh, going to um, work out nice and easily for us. Uh, others, not so. All right, so this one's a remainder of 29. And then uh, let's do another one. So there's squared. Let's do another one. So this time I'm going to go x cubed uh, plus x squared minus 14x minus 24 and divide that by x plus 2. <coughs> All right, so here we go. x cubed plus x squared minus 14x minus 24, divided by x plus 2. Alright, to get x cubed, we've got to times x by x squared. So then, x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 2 is 2x two squared. And we've got to take that away. So x cubed minus x cubed is nothing. x squared minus, and a plus is a minus. x squared minus 2x is minus x squared minus 14x, minus 24. The 24 that I've brought down is not critical, but we can bring it all down anyway. <clears throat> all right, the next, to get minus x squared, we've got to times that by negative x. Then negative x times x is negative x squared. Negative x times 2 is negative 2x. And we've got to subtract all of that. So x squared, a minus and a minus is a plus, x squared plus x squared is nothing. A minus and a minus is a plus, 14x plus 2x is minus 12x. And bring the 24 down. So then we've got to times that by minus 12. Minus 12 times x is minus 12x. Minus 12 times 2 is minus 24. And then when we take those away, we end up with zero. So what we can conclude from that is that x plus 2 is a factor of x cubed plus x squared minus 14x minus 24. <coughs> Alright, and we'll do more of that um, later on. Alright, <clears throat> the next thing that we can do is this. So let's have a look at this one here. So here we've got 
Oops, let me get rid of that, change it back. So here we've got 3x cubed plus x minus 2, and we're going to divide that by x minus 2. <clears throat> now, you notice this one doesn't have an x squared term. So for the purpose of this, so that you can keep your head around all the stuff and not lose anything, 3x cubed plus 0x squared, because there's no x squared, plus x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at synthetic division. So synthetic division, so here, so the previously is long division. So here I'm going to do synthetic. So for synthetic division, you look at what you're dividing by. So I'm dividing by x minus 2. I make that equal to 0. And for that to be equal to 0, would, x would be 2. So what we do is we write like this. So I go with all my coefficients of all my... And, and it's this one I'm going to look at. So coefficient, I've got 3x cubed, 0 lots of x squared, 1 lot of x, and then a minus 2. And with the synthetic division, we take x equals 2, and we put that there. Right, then what I do here, so I come and I move that 3 down. Then what I do is I look at this and this, and I multiply. So 2 times 3 is 6, and I put that 6 here. All right, so that 6 goes there. Okay, and then, we, then I work down here. So 0 plus 6 is 6. And I come back to this 2 and I go 2 times 6 is 12. Then I work down here. 1 plus 12 is 13. Then I go 2 times 13 is 26. Then I work down here and I get minus 2 is minus 24. So now that we've divided and we've divided into that, we're going to get a polynomial which is x squared is the higher power. So these numbers here, this 3, this 6, this 13, and then you've got this 24. This 3 is the coefficient of our x squared. The 6 is the coefficient of our x. That's our constant. And the 24 is our remainder. So what have we got? We've got 3x squared plus 6x plus 13 and remainder negative 24. All right. So that's synthetic division. Um, which people find um, a bit easier. They like that a bit more. Um, and then, of course, we've got yeah, our remainder. Um, and we'll use this a bit more um, when we get to the factorising and stuff. So this exercise is just practising in doing this. All right, so there's the downside with... Um, synthetic division in that it only works when you're dividing by a linear factor. All right, so x minus 2. So you've got to have just an x. You can't have an x squared or anything. So if you have a question like this one, for example, and we're dividing by x squared, minus 1, <clears throat> then uh, unfortunately we need to do um, a long division. Now, similar to what we did before, you'll notice x squared minus 1 doesn't have an x. So say you don't lose things, write it as 0x, take 1. So when I do the division of 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 4, 
over here I write as x squared plus 0x minus 1. Alright, so then to get 3x cubed, I've got to multiply this x squared. So we're looking at this x squared, and then we bring the others in later. So to get 3x cubed, we've got to times that by 3x. So this is where we bring the others in. All of that gets multiplied by 3x. So 3x times x squared gives us our 3x squared. 3x times 0x gives us... 3x cubed, I think. Uh, <clears throat> 3x times 0x gives us 0 lots of x squared. And 3x times negative 1 is minus 3x. We then need to take away that. 3x cubed minus 3x cubed is nothing. Minus 2x squared minus 0 is minus 2x squared. A minus and a minus is a plus, so we've got plus 6x there and bring the minus 4 down. Alright, to get 2x minus 2x squared, we've got to times x squared by minus 2, minus 2x squared, minus 2 times 0x is plus 0x, and minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2. And we've got to take all that away. So that's 0, that's 6x, and that's minus 6. Alright, so we've got, we know that it goes in 3x minus 2 times with a remainder of 6x minus 6. Alright, so there's a whole bunch of different ways that we can, well there's not a whole bunch, there's two different ways that we can do that, of course. Um, dividing things out, doesn't matter which one you use. In, in, if you're dividing by a linear factor, okay, so if you've got a factor that's a squared factor, you've got to use long division. All right, so that's exercise number 6b, and so you've got the double session there working on that. Um, there's also other video there that... Um, on your work plan some other video references to to doing this so um, if you're not sure I've got some questions about what I've just done there watch those videos um, they've uh, got some good instruction on them as well <coughs>